What happens to your body when you run 10 minutes every day? What does running for 10 minutes daily do to your body? Does it improve your health? Is running actually good for you? Is running hard on the body? What happens to my body while I've run? If you're a beginner runner, it can be hard to get in the groove of things and stay motivated. Right now we'll take a look at what happens to your body if you run for 10 minutes per day, which might help make running less daunting and easier to stick with. We're in this together. Any runner can tell you their stories about how getting in a good run can immediately improve their mood. The runner's high that euphoric feeling you get when your body begins producing endorphins is a well-known and scientifically backed benefit of the practice of getting into some running shoes and pounding out some miles. But aside from a good mood boost what other positive physical effects does running have on the human body? Let's take a look at how running changes your body composition and physical system. Generally speaking, the average 10-minute run will cause your blood sugar to spike, have a massive impact on your heart rate, and also have considerable effects on the rest of your body. Running is a great sport to get in shape, burn some steam and build muscles. But have you ever wondered what your body goes through on a 10-minute run? Whether you're a beginner or experienced runner, take note of how your body changes as you run. Notice how it feels to start and finish and use this knowledge to help you become a stronger runner. The first few seconds of your run. As you begin to run your muscles start using adenosine triphosphate ATP. ATP is the energy molecule your body makes from food. Trust me using ATP is a great thing. All that adrenaline needs to be converted into another molecule, adenosine diphosphate, ADP. That happens after you have that initial search with your muscles during the first 90 seconds of your run. During that time, they then change the ADP back into ATP. In order to release more ATP, your cells begin to break down glycogen, a form of glucose or fuel stored in your muscles. Cells will pull glucose directly from your blood which results in lower blood sugar levels. As your body uses more glucose and your muscles unleash lactic acid also known as the burn, your brain will alert you that you're under physical stress. Don't panic, it's not a bad thing. The next few minutes of your run and beyond. If you're a new runner, this is where it may become tricky to maintain your running pace. Don't give up. Keep pushing yourself, your heart will begin to beat faster, blood will start to move toward your muscles, and away from other organs that are not requiring energy. It takes an influx of oxygen to make the best use of your glucose at this time. You may start feeling a bit more tired in this step. Once you're used to the exercise, remember which muscles you were trying to focus on in the previous steps. Your gluteus muscles help you control your stride and keep yourself upright. Increase your pace a bit in this step if it's too easy for you. Your hip joints will extend so your feet can push off the ground. In short, you'll be running the burning of glycogen and oxygen tends to spike your body temperature. This is when you'll begin to sweat. Again don't panic. Sweat glands release fluid to prevent you from overheating. Running is one of the best cardio exercises people can do at home without using any machines. Running will improve your body composition by burning more fat cells and improving the metabolism of your tissues. In bony shape, the muscles become leaner, the bones become healthier and denser, the lungs are better and the fat burns more. What happens to your body when you run 10 minutes every day? Number 1, it improves your lung capacity. The lungs greatly benefit from running. Once people start running their lungs are initially unable to keep the body supplied with oxygen. For some time though, things will improve as the lungs expand and will supply the body with better oxygen. Breathing seems natural and normal. Improved lung capacity allows you to indulge in activities without running out of breath quickly. Number 2 A Stronger Core Our core keeps us strong while standing to keep us well balanced. Being active, such as running, can be great for our health because it strengthens the heart and central core. Having a solid core is advantageous in many ways, one of them being that it can make us do harder things longer before we get tired. 
Thus, a stronger core would be good for our fitness because it would make us agile and able to do more stuff. Number 3, it improves your blood circulation. When we run the heart beats harder and quicker as it attempts to pump blood to all areas of the body that provide oxygen to the organs. The blood vessels will dilate as they struggle to bring more blood into the muscles. When you make running more frequent the heart becomes stronger than seen above and more effective at pumping blood. Body arteries, muscle cells, lung capacity and blood flow are adapted to better the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen. More capillaries are being developed to help in the exchange of gas. Improved circulation decreases the risk of arteriosclerosis and blockage of arterial roots that cause heart attack and stroke. Before we continue alike would be great. Number 4, Develop Stunning Calves. Developing stunning calves is definitely one of the first things you'll note about your body after you've been running for a while your calves are going to be the nicest portion of your legs, the legs are stronger and sharp running is one of the easiest ways to grow stunning calves without calf raises. Number 5, It Increases Your Metabolism Rate. Running can greatly improve your metabolism as the body gets used to burning calories quicker. Improved metabolism continues to provide the body with energy while helping to lose calories. It's a perfect way for people to lose weight while avoiding weight gain. The energy requirement of the body increases as people run to make the body metabolize quicker. By a regular running routine you will encounter a lot of changes in your body caused by running. Number 6, it creates a stronger heart. You can always enjoy a good sprint at home. Cardiovascular activities like running have been proven to be very beneficial for your heart. Strong pumping of the heart after a long period of time helps it to grow. Stronger and healthy hearts are a significant advantage that reduces heart-related medical problems. The circulation of the blood increases as the blood vessels dilate. Number 7, it makes your bone density better. Running will dramatically improve your overall bone density. Running builds bones and most of the runners have powerful bones. Bones reform to resist stress by properly managing the strain that comes with running. If you wonder if your bones are stronger than someone who doesn't exercise, the weight of the bones of his or her legs, pelvis and spine should provide some relief. Strong bone density is good and for this reason it is worth avoiding needless stress on your skeleton individuals with high bone density are typically at reduced risk of osteoporosis and other associated bone fractures. Number 8 It improves your muscular endurance. When you run your body moves like a projectile. The constant contraction of the body's muscles holds the body in motion sections of the quadriceps, glutes, hamstrings and calves can track and relax in repetitive motions during the run. Marathon training with a ketogenic diet, proper carbohydrate and fat depletion. Improving your muscle endurance can help you run for a long time without getting exhausted too easily. The ketogenic diet can be used to enhance this effect. Number 9, it decreases your body fat. Running is a great sport that not only helps you maintain a healthy weight, but can also help you achieve your fitness goals. It's a perfect aerobic activity that has the added benefit of burning more calories to aid in fat reduction. When the body's fat goes down, the muscles of the runner become noticeable, giving people their athletic physique. Decreasing the number of fats will boost your physical appearance while holding you away from the risk of a heart attack. Number 10 It changes your overall body fitness. Running makes your body fit in a variety of ways. Aside from bones and muscles. It enhances your cardiovascular system while enhancing your body's capacity to burn more calories. People who run a lot are fitter and have a rocked body figure than people who don't run. Running makes the bones stronger than they can bear the weight of the body and the strain of running. Are you ready to start running 10 minutes a day?